Hey, hey, sweet friends. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to this week's What's for Dinner. I am currently chilling in my chair with my fur babies because why not? It is Saturday before um, my What's for Dinner goes up, so I wanted to go ahead and do an intro. But anyways, I have four meals for you and then one of them was just like um, pizza from Little Caesars. <laughs> so um, we had a couple nights of leftovers, of course, um, but that's all right because leftovers are amazing in my opinion. But anyways, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and think about clicking that subscribe bell because I would absolutely love to have you. But without further ado, let's get on in to this week's What's for Dinner, y'all. Come on, let's go. All right, y'all, so this night we just decided to go ahead and went to Little Caesars. This was last Sunday, I believe. Yeah, so we just decided to go ahead and have pizza this night and kind of have like a date night at home since it was just me and my husband here. But this was absolutely delicious, y'all. So we got a deep dish pepperoni, some Italian cheese bread, and then um, he also picked up some stuffed crazy bread, which they're my favorite. So we had leftovers a couple times and we also had this for lunch as well. Hey friends, tonight's dinner is a French toast. <laughs> and then we're gonna make some of these sausage strips. So when I make my French toast, I usually, if I don't have like Texas toast or anything, I'll buy like a specific bread for the, um, for the toast, French toast. And then I always have to have whipping cream, some vanilla, and then I always put cinnamon. I know this is cinnamon bread, but it's okay. I have to have cinnamon. Um, sometimes I'll put brown sugar in it, but since this is like a sweeter bread anyways, I'm gonna take the brown sugar out of it. And then of course your eggs and a little bit of butter to put it in the pan. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fry up that um, sausage strips right here, and then we'll get to cooking the French toast. Okay, so for my egg mixture, I just have my eggs, heavy whipping cream, vanilla, and cinnamon. Sometimes I put brown sugar into it, but since I had a sweet bread, I did not do that this time. And there are those sausage strips. These were pretty good. They were pretty good, I have to admit. But anyways, that was dinner this night, y'all, and it was absolutely delicious. Can never go wrong with breakfast for dinner, y'all. <laughs> Oh, and I did want to mention that I had strawberry um, syrup on top of my French toast with whipped cream and a little bit of butter because butter makes everything better, right? <laughs> Hey, hey friends, it is about six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I have had my beans soaking overnight and we are gonna put, of course, pintos in the crock pot. So I have got my soaked pintos, I've got a whole onion, um, some badia complete, some leftover, a little bit of leftover bacon pieces and ends and whatever else you wanna call it. I always save those so I can put it in my beans when I cook it. And then I have some Saison, the Goya packets. So we're gonna use one of them and we're gonna go ahead and get all these things in the crock pot and let them cook all day long. All right, y'all, so to start out with, we just go ahead and spray our crock pot. I'm going to go ahead and pour in my beans. I did soak those overnight. I have always done it this way. I know some people, um, they don't soak theirs, but I've always done it this way. This is how my family always did it. So that's how I do it. Anyways, I'm gonna throw a little bit of bacon that I had left over from another meal in there to cook with the beans. I added some extra water. Um, went ahead and chopped up a whole um, white onion, put that in there. And now I'm just going to add my seasoning. So I had the Badia Complete, one of the little Saison Goya packets. I'm going to stir that in there just to see how it looks and get everything, you know, incorporated. But I'm not done with the seasonings yet. So now I'm going to come in with just a little bit of salt, not too much. Some Cavenders and... I did put some black pepper in there too, but I forgot to film it, y'all. But anyways, we're going to put that all together, stir it up, 
put it in the crock pot and those cooked all day while I was at work. And here they are once I got home. Oh, these were so good, y'all. Those little um, Saison Goya packets or however you pronounce it, you must try in your beans. So, so good, y'all. So good. But here I'm just going to go ahead and um, chop up these taters to put in with my sausage so I can fry up some taters and sausage to have with our beans and cornbread. But that's all I'm doing right here. Now, when I do um, get my skillet and everything ready, I do put some bacon grease and some butter and I think a little bit of olive oil. I think that's what I did this time. It might have just been bacon grease and olive oil. I can't remember, but you'll see it here in a minute. I'm just going to sit here and blabber. <laughs> but once you get these all sliced up, then you go ahead and get your sausage sliced up or whatever meat you want in there. If you want meat, if you don't, you ain't got to add it. You just go ahead and um, chop that up real small as well. And it looks like I just have some butter and bacon grease in this one. I know, I know it's a lot of fat. I get it to each their own. This is my kitchen. This is how I cook for my family. You fix it however you like it. It'll be fine. So I threw my sausage in there, cooked it down, and now I'm going to layer in my potatoes. And with each layer of potatoes, you need to season them. So I'm using Badia Complete and the black garlic on these. Hooey, y'all. This was so good. So, so good. Mm, I love me some fried taters. But here it is all plated up. And yes, I just throw everything in there in one bowl. And I do serve it with a little bit of mayonnaise. Don't knock it till you try it. Thank you, Kat over at Southern Farm Kitchen and um, Mel from over in the kitchen with Mama Mel because they gave me the idea for this and it is scrumptious. Hey, hey friends, tonight's dinner is tacos. No explanation needed make them like you like them for your family um i just use the 80 20 because that's what was on sale we are going to make some spanish rice or salsa rice but um a little shortcut is i just catch this whenever it's on sale at my local store today it was on sale at food line so i went ahead and picked up a bag and then i just add some salsa into it this is my favorite brand of salsa it's hard to find i can only get it at food line now but yeah, we're just going to make some tacos and we're going to have some guacamole, avocado. But to season my taco meat, I use one packet of cheesy and one packet of mild. I have found that that is our favorite combination. <laughs> my son is over here shaking yes. Say yes. Favorite? Okay. <laughs> and then we just got lettuce and tomato and cheese and everything to top it with. And sour cream is in the fridge. I'll take it out here in a little bit. But that's going to be dinner tonight. So I'll bring you back when everything's done and show you the plates. And here's my finished plate. There really wasn't nothing to show because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to, um, you know, microwave some rice and then um, fry your taco meat however you like it. But <laughs> anyways, here's the finished plate. And this one was also good. I just served it up with the salsa rice and the avocado. Hey, hey friends tonight's dinner is going to be mini corn dogs and a mac and cheese the blue box the one and only mac and cheese uh, i've tried others and y'all know the story but i just don't like it i just don't like it at all but anyways we are going to go ahead and just make this i'm just going to cook these corn dogs um, per the package directions and same thing for the mac and cheese but i do add heavy whipping cream and some extra cheese in that and that's going to be dinner tonight quick simple and easy and i think my son got into the french fries while i was at work because he left evidence dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but anyways yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and make this up and i'll bring you back when the plates are done all right y'all that is it for this week's what's for dinner i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave me a comment below press that um, thumbs up button and give me a like um, it really does help my channel to grow and reach other people i just want to say thank you to everybody who supports me i hope y'all have a blessed week until next time, my friends, God bless. Bye.